Before we start, I just want to say in advance that this is going to be a quick and fast-paced video. So grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper because you're probably going to want to jot down some notes. These are going to be 10 bulletproof pillars that determine the success of your website. Starting off with number one, professional photos. I can't believe I have to say this, yet there are still so many other brands out there not investing in professional photography. Your photos must be clear. You need good lighting. E-commerce is all about buying with the eyes, and if you can't make something look as good as it really does in real life, Life, chances are someone's just gonna pass. If you don't have enough money to hire models at the beginning, build up your community. People within your community will be willing to model for free in exchange for free product. When you're done with all these photos, make sure to throw them into Adobe Lightroom, enhance the saturation, the color, the sharpness. Just make sure it's not too overboard to the point where you're just misleading people on the color of your product. And about us page absolutely crucial. I don't think you guys realize the importance of an About Us page. A lot of people buy from a brand because of what a brand stands for and who the brand is associated with. A great example of this is Drew. We all know Drew, the brand that Justin Bieber started. I mean, yeah, they have great designs and pretty good quality, but we're also enticed to buy in from the brand because of Justin Bieber himself. This is going to be no different to your brand. Who is going to be the face of your brand? Is it gonna be you? Are you gonna hire an influencer? Is it going to be numerous ambassadors? What is your brand's story? How did you start? What led you to design this product that you now offer to your consumer base? How do you guys stand out? What exactly is unique about you guys? And most importantly, why should others choose to buy from you as opposed to the 100 other brands out there? State what your brand supports and stands by. And yeah, that's about it. Your About Us page doesn't have to be a formal essay at all. Just a couple paragraphs helping your customers connect to you and understanding the back end of your store and how your brand has gotten to this point and stage of where it is today. Number three is going to be slideshows. Pretty much the first thing people see when they stumble onto your website. Regardless of whether they're looking at your website on a laptop or an iPhone, that is the first thing people see when they stumble onto your website. You've spent time, effort, and money getting these people onto your website, so you really want to make a statement here. Whether it's an offer or social proof, make it clear. This is where you get to show off your best products and who your brand truly is. If you look at every other professional brand out there, you'll see that they have stunning slideshows at the very top of their page. This not only captures your audience, but also announces the current major event within your brand. For example, a Black Friday sale, maybe a 40% off-site wide discount. And for Urban, we currently have a New Year, New You sale. Number four, I know we're going pretty quick, so if you guys need to pause the video, by all means, go for it. As usual, if you have any questions, just mention them in the comments down below, and I will be sure to respond as soon as I can. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to help you guys by providing as much value as I can. Number four is going to be apps. I cannot stress how beneficial apps are to your Shopify store. I know what you're thinking. When I first started, I didn't think I needed apps either. And this couldn't be further from the truth. I want you to think of Shopify apps as a pair of running shoes. Yes, you can run barefoot, but it certainly helps to have running shoes. This is no different to how Shopify apps work. They increase efficiency and productivity of your store. As long as you use them in the right ways, they will make your store so much more profitable. Some of the apps we use include Size Charts, Shopify Collabs, One Click Upsell, Clavio, Order Value Booster, InstaFeed, and Root Shipping. My goal is to keep this video quick and informative, so if you're interested in one of these apps, feel free to search them up. I'll paste links down below to all these apps where you can see how these apps will be beneficial to your store, thus boosting your overall conversion rate. Number five is going to be your theme. Probably one of the most important decisions out of all these 10 steps. Choosing the right theme doesn't only determine the success of your brand, but also determines the average consumer's perception on your brand. The theme of choice will choose how your products are displayed, how your slideshows look, how your product pages are displayed, the navigation, and your filters. Make sure to choose a theme that looks clean, legit, and is easy to navigate for all your customers. Nothing is worse than a website with terrible navigation. When a customer gets onto your website, you want them to go through a process that is as smooth as butter. Pick a product, add to cart, check out, pay, done. Number six is going to be a contact us page. This is how your brand will connect and interact with your community. People are much more likely to have trust and purchase from a brand when they have a clear line of communication. What if a size doesn't fit me? 
How long will shipping take? When will this product be back in stock? These are just some of the questions that your customers will be asking you on a daily basis. And by you replying, you are retaining your customer base. Customer loyalty is also one of the biggest backbones of a long-term sustainable brand. You should always be providing post-purchase support, as well as checking up on people's orders and asking them how the whole process went. You can also send out surveys to all your customers asking what you could have improved on, some of the things that could have been changed, and overall their thoughts and impressions of your brand. Number seven is going to be a free shipping bar. As soon as we added this, we saw a major increase in sales. Brands like us have had to adjust and compete with Amazon Prime's one day free shipping. By adding a free shipping bar for over $95, not only are you able to provide your customers with free shipping, but boost your overall average order value. That's about it for number seven, fairly straightforward. Find something that works for you guys. We personally have our free shipping bar in four sections. The header of our page, our slide cart page, our checkout page, and our product page. Number eight, and this one's pretty straightforward as well, is social proof. We downloaded an Instagram app off the Shopify app store, which re-uploads our current Insta feed to the website at all times. That way, when people scroll to the bottom of our website, they're able to see social proof, thus building trust and enticing the consumer to purchase. If you want your brand to be exposed to the public eye, you have to do everything you can to get your brand out there. And there's no better way of doing this than by working with other influencers or ambassadors and promoting your social feed everywhere possible. Speaking of collaborations, this actually leads me to my next point, number nine. A collab section. Grow your community. That should be the only thing on your mind right now. A bigger community equals bigger sales equals bigger brand. It's not rocket science, guys. Grow your community. Shopify actually offers an app called Shopify Collabs that you can paste at the bottom of your page, which allows users to sign up. Anyone who's interested in becoming an ambassador, making commission, offering discounts, support codes, all of the above, people can sign up in a matter of three minutes, and it'll actually summarize everyone's socials, showing their following, their engagement rate, their like count, etc. This makes it super easy for you to pick who your next ambassador or influencer is going to be. Last but not least, number 10. If you guys have stuck this far, give yourself a pat on the back. You truly want to be successful, and I respect that, which probably means that number 10 is going to be no issue for you. But nevertheless, I am going to mention it anyway. Number 10 actually has absolutely nothing to do with your brand and everything to do with yourself. Are you mentally prepared? Seriously, ask yourself, am I willing to work as hard as I have to to make this brand succeed? Or is it just gonna be another one of these side hustles that I forget three to four months down the road? Number 10 is exactly what sets you apart from others. Out of 100 people, maybe 95 quit. And those five who keep pushing and pushing and pushing, at some point, finally make it. It's a competitive world, guys, and you have to be willing to outwork all of your competition. Your mindset is what will determine your future. So ask yourself, am I really built for this? Am I ready to start my very own brand? I don't know. Are you? That is for you to answer. Leave a like if you guys think I provided you guys with value today. As usual, any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible. If you guys need additional help, feel free to shoot me or my brand a DM. I'm always here to help you guys. So that's a wrap for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 okay.